Members of the Maharashtra United Nations Association, esteemed guests, friends, ladies and gentlemen, greetings from the United Nations Information Center, New Delhi. I am Kiran Hera Karpalman, director of the center. I had the pleasure of being with you in Mumbai some time ago when you observed World Health Day. Your dedication and enthusiasm are commendable, and I'm delighted to be able to address you, even if remotely, on the occasion of World Environment Day, which you are celebrating on a ship. So in a way, you are also celebrating World Oceans Day, which the United Nations will be observing later this week on 8th June. The 2012 theme for World Environment Day is green economy, does it include you? The premise of the theme is simple. Will it be business as usual? Or do we want to think about more sustainable ways of living our lives and doing things? The recent financial crisis clearly indicates that it has to be the latter. So a green economy is one that results in improved human well-being and social equity. It involves low carbon emissions and resource efficiency. It also involves inclusive growth. The United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development, or Rio Plus 20, will begin a few days from now. It will be one of the most important summits to date, with an agenda that covers nearly every aspect of our day-to-day -day lives. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon visited Mumbai a month ago. On World Environment Day, he has pointed out, and I quote, Rio Plus 20 is our opportunity to deepen global commitment to sustainable development. In Rio, we should agree that measuring growth and wealth by gross domestic product alone is inadequate. We should agree that the world needs a set of sustainable development goals that will build on the Millennium Development Goals. And we should make progress on some of the building blocks of sustainability. Energy, water, food, cities, oceans, jobs, and the empowerment of women. Today is therefore a good moment for us to reflect on some of these issues and think about practical ways to work towards a more sustainable future. These efforts cannot and will not end with Rio Plus 20. I would like to add that we at UNIC are in this for the long haul and we look forward to working with you to make it happen. Thank you very much.